You guys know what a Nike box looks like. Size 10 and a half Air Max 90 Ultra 2.0 fly knit. You guys already know what's in here. I've been talking about it for the last two weeks because I have not been able to get them for the last two weeks. Whoa. Yo, seriously, the actual silver on these is so nice. Let's get the other shoe out. Bang, look at that. Let's get the brightness down on this thing because you guys need to actually see like the colors for what they are. Now I gotta say, when I first saw these online, I thought to myself like, yo, there's no way that they're gonna look that good in person, but I'm gonna get them anyway because even like right now on my feet, right now, wearing a pair of Air Max 90 infrared standard, standard. When I saw photos of these online, I thought to myself there was no way they're going to look that good in person, but I've gotta say, like now that I've got them in hand, I'm extremely impressed. Because like most of you guys know already that when you see a shoe online, a lot of the times it's not going to look as good as it does in the actual photos. But also a lot of the time that's not necessarily true either because I've had a lot of releases where I saw them online and thought like, yo, I need to get those immediately. And then I immediately regret getting them because they just look like garbage. Nowhere near as good as the photos, but these right here, they live up to every pixel on the actual Nike website. As most of you guys know, this is one of my all time favorite shoes, not the 2.0 fly knit upper, just the Air Max 90 infrared. Of course you guys already know that like would it be an X Chase Machini video if I did not mention Air Max 90 infrared at some point But anyways, I'm gonna try these on like right now because I've never actually worn a fly knit shoe Very curious as to how these are gonna feel like what the why does it come out so easily? Is that standard on fly knit stuff? I've never been into fly knit until I saw it on this right here uh, Whatever, I, I guess I don't really care as long as it's a comfortable shoe when I put it on my feet Okay. Yeah, oh wow. It's definitely not as comfortable as boost technology But I will say that they are extremely comfortable and I definitely think that I did the right thing by going a half size down on these, normally I'm a size 11 in Air Max 90s, but since this is a fly knit upper, I knew that it was gonna be like a borderline sock. So I went down half a size and I'm very happy I did because these run very big. A size 10 and a half in these feels like a size 11 in these. And with that being said, we are gonna continue this video. What else do we have to do today? We are going to be repainting a pair of Fire Red 3s. It's like you guys have never seen that before. There's really not much going on this weekend. It's like just rainy and crappy outside. It's been rainy and crappy for the last like three days and it's meant to be like that all this coming week. I'm just really not looking forward to it at all. So besides actually painting the Fire Red 3s, showing you guys these right here, which we've already done. I'm also gonna be trying to get the Atmos Air Max 1s that come out today and they're releasing on nike.com.au. So it's gonna be a pretty boring video this week. I do have a restoration video coming up very soon on a pair of Tor 4s. I'm just working on it. I was gonna start filming it this weekend, but it's raining. So yeah. It's gonna be a pretty boring video this week. You guys don't gotta hit the like button. You don't gotta do anything that I ask you to do in this video. Just stick with me because dope shit is coming very soon. Wait a minute, what time is it? I've lost track of time. Yo, it's 6.55. I got five minutes to get to my computer, get on nike.com.au, get logged in, and try to actually get these Atmos Air Max ones. Let's go. All right. Probably not gonna get them. Apparently there were so many people lined up outside of hype all the way back from Wednesday I was talking to someone in soulmate today when I was in the city and they said that it was absolutely crazy Apparently someone showed up trying to say that they actually worked for Atmos like bro get out of here You don't work for Atmos. You got like a bogan Australian accent. You are you don't work for Atmos All right waiting your turn. This is all too familiar huh? you guys remember the last time I was trying to get a pair of Air Max ones on the Nike website It wasted 10 minutes of my time 10 minutes. I'll never get back I'm so happy that Nike is releasing these on their website because I have not a single interest in trying to get these alongside the pack with the Air Jordan 3. That Air Jordan 3 is hideous. Sometimes I like to open up another window to see if they have sold out of any particular sizes so I can just immediately stop wasting my time with whatever size it is I'm trying to get. They still got a full size run here. I'm still waiting my turn. Oh, come on, man. A size 10 and a half sold out. Well, let's try and get a size 8. And size 8 are all sold out as well. That is just rubbish, man. I never get lucky on nike.com.au. 
ever. Well, all right. Thanks once again for wasting my time, Nike. And what we're gonna be doing next, we're gonna be repainting these 2013 Fire Red 3s. But I think before I do that, I wanna get a little bit of a wear test out of these. I don't know, I really just don't wanna wait to have to put them on. So what I'm gonna do now is throw them on feet and we're gonna see how they look. Let's go. Let's go paint these Air Jordan 3s. Actually, before I go inside and get a start on these 3s, I just remembered that my friend wants me to clean his work boots from work. So if anyone from work is watching this, no, I won't clean your shoes for free. And no, don't ask me to do it. But in all seriousness, I did think that this would be a good opportunity to show you guys just how a rejuvenator can work. These are work shoes. I see this guy wearing these shoes to work literally every single day. Come on, Chase, let's be real here. How many videos are you gonna make showcasing the power of rejuvenator? Everyone's getting over it. I don't care. So they're not terribly bad. Like there's definitely some oil stains on it and stuff like that. Like you got a massive oil stain right there. A little stain right there. Let's see. Unfortunately, Rob, there's really nothing that I can do for your right here. You got a cut. I can actually see the steel on the actual steel cap there. So yeah, let's do our best to not kick things at work anymore, okay? Let's get these cleaned up. So, these boots have been drying for like a good 24 hours now. And look at the difference. Like you can see it immediately. That's absolutely insane, man. I told the guy at work that I'm doing these for that you probably shouldn't have me clean them up because what's gonna happen is people are gonna look at you and they're gonna think that you don't do anything. In other words, the shoes are that clean. You work in a warehouse, they should be dirty. The original color has come out perfectly. Now I'm gonna clean these shoes off camera, but right now, we are going to be doing is starting off on these Air Jordan 3s. I know I've said it multiple times in this video, but I'm being dead set right now. Let's go. All right, so we've got our 2013 Fire Red 3s right here. I'm just gonna tape up the uppers so I don't get any of my Fire Red 3 mix on the actual leather. Definitely don't wanna be messing with white leather and red paint because it is an absolute pain in the ass to get off if you do in fact get it onto the leather on the upper. That was a long-winded sentence and with that being said, we are going to actually tape off this shoe right now and then we're gonna come back and talk about the actual state of the sneaker culture. I know it's something that a lot of people talk about all the time, but I saw something the other day, particularly online, that that just rubbed me the wrong way and it makes absolutely no sense to me, but we're just gonna tape off this shoe and then we'll get into that discussion right after this. So, before I jump into painting these, the other day I was online after the Atmos Air Max 1 release here in Sydney, and all over Facebook groups, all I saw was people complaining about Adidas this, and Nike's that, and Adidas is the best, and Nike is the worst, or Nike's the best, and Adidas is the worst. Who cares? Seriously though, like who cares? Like if you're into something, why does it bug you when someone is not? You know, like not everyone is going to be into the exact same things that you are into. And that rule applies to everyone. It applies to me, it applies to you, it applies to your mom, your dad, your sister, your friend, your high school teacher. Like if you see someone wearing something that you don't like, just leave it alone, let it go. 
I know it's a crazy foreign concept, but the person that's actually wearing those shoes that you don't like might actually like them. And if they do like them, then who are you to try and put that person down for being into something that might not necessarily be hyped up at the time? I know for me, I was collecting Adidas shoes long before I was collecting Air Jordan shoes, and I have a lot of people back home that can vouch for that right now. And all of a sudden, Adidas is the hype train at the moment, and I am currently into Air Jordans more than I'm into Adidas, but I like both brands. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, look, what, wait. Hold on, it could have, it could have happened. Let me check. Nah, the world has not ended. All right, so that is my rant for the day. Let's get these painted. I do have a paint mix for them, but since Vic from Rejuvenator already has a pre-made mix for the Fire Red 3, I am not going to give that out at this moment. But I can save you 15% off of your entire order over at Rejuvenator if you want to use my discount code. It is XChaseMachini. I will also leave it in the description down for you to find. And with that being said, let's get to painting.